hey, if you ever mess up a tumbler, you don't know what to do with it, you don't want to throw it away, well, I'm going to show you. Here, hold my upside down iced coffee. Hey everybody, my name's Roy and today we're going to try to undo some goofs, salvage some screw-ups, redo some blunders, fix some rebake some mistakes. So let's start with this. I'm sure nobody's ever done this. I accidentally put the uh, paper on upside down. Hmm? So we're gonna try to bake that off. This one, um, you can't really tell unless you look closely, but this is actual ghosting. And what happened is because this is a white tumbler and black text when I, I peeled it hot. As soon as it came out of the press or the oven, I don't remember where I made this one, probably the press, I took that tape off. And the, the ink on the paper was still hot, so it ghosted a little bit. So if you look really closely, you can see the line of the face of this uh, cute little puppy dog uh, that shouldn't be there. So we're gonna bake that off. This is a wonderful uh, golf fax uh, tumbler. I think I got this file on uh, Etsy a long time ago. I didn't reverse the image. Hmm. I'm sure nobody's done that. This was one of the first ones that I did and it's really dark on the top and the bottom and the seam's not that great. It just didn't come out good so I wanna rebake that one. This one, when I initially uh, created this image, there was a little teeny mark um, in Photoshop that I didn't get rid of. So I always press a new image that I designed just to make sure this doesn't happen. So I was able to go back in Photoshop and take that out, but I'm gonna rebake that or try to. I'm also gonna do a mug. There's nothing wrong with this. It just never sold. And uh, I think my wife had wanted me to make it maybe for somebody, but there was no mama bird that wanted it. So we're gonna try to bake that off. And then we're gonna try to do a couple of, uh, uh, a couple of additional bake-offs. First being this glass can. I love this design. This is a Melissa Miller design, uh, but I made it too small. I should have made it much larger. So we're gonna rebake that one. And this is a logo, um, there's a company called the Fancy Flea here in Central Florida. If you've ever um, been to any uh, vendor shows, uh, you've, you've heard of it. Uh, Lori Powell is a wonderful, wonderful lady and she runs this and I made her this glass can, but I was not thinking it was late at night and I wrapped it wrong. So the very bottom of her name is gone. So we're gonna try to see if we can even rebake one of these frosted ones. I don't know that we can. And lastly, the wonderful elusive unicorn Walmart 25 ounce glass bamboo lid tumblers. This design I initially made for this and um, I didn't spell squeeze correctly. So, I have to go back and, uh, and fix that. This is actually one of the ones that I used in my video about subbing on the 25 ounce Walmart tumblers. <laughs> Literally, I had finished the entire video and I was, think I was putting something in the description and when I, um, uh, when I typed in squeeze, it, it told me I was an idiot and I was wrong. So um, we're gonna rebake that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these all to the oven. I'm not gonna put them all in at the same time. I'll probably do two or three at once. We're gonna run the temperature in the convection oven at 400 degrees. And we're gonna bake these anywhere between an hour and an hour and 15 minutes. I do have to apologize to Candy Cundiff. Candy is a member of our Facebook group, which by the way, if you haven't joined, you should. There's a lot of really smart people. A lot of great questions are asked and uh, a lot of people have great answers to them. It's a good community, a lot of great people. Anyway, Candy had said, hey, can you bake a tumbler off in a tumbler press? And I told her, you know what? That's a great question. I think I'll try it. I did a little bit of research and decided, I'm sorry, Candy, I'm not gonna try it. And here's why. I can go buy a convection oven brand new for $80, $90. I could probably get some sort of convection oven or maybe just an oven at a thrift store for $20 or $30. If I get a new press, the attachment at the minimum is going to cost $100. And if I get a tumbler press, it's going to be two, three plus $100. So I'm not going to try it with my press because I don't want to ruin my press. And I would advise you against trying it. It probably would work, but I don't know that I want to put that stress and strain on my tumbler press. And when we 
put these in the oven, we're not going to have anything on them. And the, uh, the gas is going to release or melt down or... Ms. Koenig always said I could do better in 11th grade science class. I think I've proven her wrong. Anyway, I'm not sure exactly what happens, but I know that it's free. And if I put it in the tumbler press, there's going to be that pressure. And I'm not sure if it will bake off correctly. And again, because of the potential to ruin or mess up the, the tumbler attachment, uh, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to try it. So candy i do apologize but thank you for asking it's actually an excellent question anyway let's take all of these let's go to the convection oven and see if we can bake them off okay we're going to start with the upside down coffee the ghosted fetch these and the backwards golfer facts i'm only going to do three at a time and i'm not sure if three is too many, but I'm gonna do two at a time. Let's do two at a time. We got all the time in the world. They're already getting a little bit warm. So, so we're starting with the fetch and the upside down coffee. It's dropped to just below 400 degrees. I'm gonna set my timer and I'm gonna monitor that. Uh, and if it gets a little bit low, I'll turn the uh, heat back up to try to get it to 400. Right now it's dropping to about 350, but I'm gonna bring it up just a hair and uh, we'll check back in about 45 minutes. It's only been about five minutes and you can see the images begin to blur up a little bit. Is that the scientific terminology blurring up? Well, that's what's happening. Anyway, we're at 400 degrees. It went a little over 400 and then I got it dropped back down to uh, 400. So it looks like we'll be consistent at that temperature for the rest of the run. So only five minutes in and we're seeing the uh, the image fade so that's a good sign so we are 15 minutes in and you can definitely tell the blurring of the images okay it has been i believe 30 minutes and you can certainly see a good bit of fading going on we'll definitely go at least 45 and we'll check it at 45 and see what it looks like Okay, this is at 45 minutes. It's nice and blurry. I'm going to go for an hour and let's see if it changes very much. But this is at the 45 minute mark at 400 degrees. So we are at an hour now and it's faded a good bit. I'm going to leave it in a final 15 minutes for a total of an hour and 15 minutes. And then we can go back and look at the video to see if there's really much of a change between one hour and an hour and 15 minutes. So 15 more minutes to go on these. Okay, so it's been an hour and 15 minutes at 400 degrees. We're gonna pull these hot puppies out. Oh, I burnt my, burnt my glove a little bit on the top heating element. Whoop. I'm trying to avoid the uh, Trying to avoid the camera while I'm taking these out. Okay, so. Okay, now we're going to do this reversed image. And let's do this one. So we're going to put those in for, I'm going to say maybe an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. We'll see, make sure we can see our, our oven, which is temporarily dropped, but I think it'll go back up in just a moment. Okay, so this is at 15 minutes and that's pretty darn faded. So this is after 30 minutes. Here we are at 45 minutes. So here they are at one hour, they're looking good. Okay, here we are at one hour and 15 minutes and we'll pull these two out and see what they look like. Put these down. Oop. I don't want to break my uh, break my heating elements in this oven. I, oops. <laughs> I also don't want to 
burn myself. So there they are. Okay, so I have no idea if these glass cans will break down. I'm going to try a couple and see. So we are 15 minutes into these glass cans and they're fading a lot better than I thought. So we'll give it some more time. Here we are at 30 minutes. And I gotta tell you, I'm shocked at how much of that ink has faded away. We're gonna definitely leave it in there a little longer, but the clear one, you can barely see an image on it. So let's try another 15 minutes and see. We are at 45 minutes and I gotta tell you, the clear glass one, I can barely see anything. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. Let's at least take a quick look. I mean, look at that. There's nothing. I mean, I there's barely something, but you really can't see it that well. I'm taking this one out at 45 minutes. I'm gonna leave the frosted one in for another 15. Okay, the frosted one has been in an hour. We're gonna pull it out and take a look. And I gotta tell you, it's uh, it's 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 almost gone too. Kind of kind of impressive. Okay, so the last ones. I have no idea if this Walmart one will work. And. I guess we're going to make sure that we try this mama bird one. So, we'll see what happens with those. Okay, here we are 15 minutes in with the coffee mug and the Walmart uh, glass tumbler. And the Walmart, well, both of them are fading. The Walmart's fading. I wasn't sure what would happen because technically it's not a sublimation item. It just happened to hold sublimation. So, I'm kind of curious to see what it's even going to do. About 15 minutes in, and it's starting to fade a little bit. So it has been 30 minutes, and the mug is certainly fading away. The, the Walmart frosted glass tumbler is fading a little, but it doesn't look like it's fading much. So we'll see in a while. It's been 45 minutes. The mug is coming along as I expected. The Walmart 25 ounce glass tumbler, the background does seem to be fading out. Those letters are still pretty strong on there. Maybe it was partly because of the design, but I'm not seeing those fade as much. So we'll give it some more time and see. So we are at the one hour mark for both the mug and the Walmart tumbler. Okay, so it's been an hour and 15 minutes for these two. The coffee mug looks pretty good. The Walmart 25 ounce tumbler doesn't look like it's done as well. And quite frankly, I don't think it's gonna get any better. Here is the, I'll take them out one at a time. Here is the uh, mug, if you can see, and um, let me move it a little bit out of the way, and let's grab this. Let's see if I can reach in there and grab it. Yeah, this is not looking good. I don't know that this will hold up. Um, not only does it just look like it didn't completely go away, I don't know if you can see the inside looks really messed up too. So we're going to let them cool down and then we'll um, go over all of them and then we'll try to resub them. Okay, so here's where we are. Some of these came out uh, better than others. So let's start with, let's start with this one. This is the Walmart 25 ounce uh, bamboo lid glass 
um, tumbler that is not a sublimation tumbler, but someone tried it and it happened to work. However, you can't rebake it. Um, this, I believe, was in for an hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes or so, but it's really weird. The inside got all like gucked up and uh, I would never drink out of it. And quite frankly, it didn't clear out this image very much. So this is trash. I'm not even gonna use it for anything. I'm throwing that away. Okay, so this one baked off a lot considering how rich it was. It did end up with a few little black dots and I'm not sure what they are. We're gonna power through and see if they remain or if they go away. And what I decided to do because there's still so much is I'm gonna just try to replace this image onto this tumbler. It probably won't get it exact. We'll see what happens. So what else do we have? This, the backwards golf. I'm gonna use, this is a Michelle Ray subs image and I absolutely love it. She's got the, she's got some amazing dragons. So definitely uh, check her out. But what I'm thinking is that the busier the pattern, the more there's a chance that it'll replace whatever it is we're trying to cover up. So that's this one. Let me move it out of the way. And then for the when life gives you lemons, it came out great, but I don't know if you remember, there was a little spot over here. So uh, I wanted to try to resub it. For that, we're going to use this design, fantastic design here. So anyway, we're gonna try that with this one. I think when you're doing this, there's a lot to be said about the design that goes over what you're trying to cover up. So. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. We have the coffee and the fetch. And what I thought I'd do with the fetch, I'm gonna try, is this is a uh, Michelle Ray subs image. And hopefully the bulk of this will be covered up by this dark color. So we're gonna try that on there for baseball fans. And then for this final one, Lettering doesn't come off, doesn't fade quite as well. So for this one, I found this image online. It's a Second Amendment, very busy. And so I'm hoping that that will cover that up. Then for my frosted glass can, I uh, am going to try to rebake the original image onto it. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. For my mama bird, what I did was I actually, when I found this image, I thought, well, this is pretty busy right here. So I cut that part out and I'm gonna try to use that on the coffee mug. And then last but not least, the iced tea image, which I love the image, I just made it too small. This was a uh, Melissa Miller image and I loved it. It was just a little bit small. so. We baked it off, this is probably baked off better than anything, and I'm going to do this welcome to my show um, on here and see what happens with that. So let's get to subbing and then let's come back and see how well any of them, if any, worked out. Okay, we are back and we're gonna take a look at all of these tumblers, glass jars, and coffee mug. Remember this was our Walmart 25 ounce glass tumbler that we are going to consider an ultimate fail. It wasn't a sublimation tumbler anyway, so we weren't expecting much, or at least I wasn't. So, and then we have the coffee mug that's still warm. Uh, this is the one that had Mama Bird on it and I found an image online that was a full tumbler wrap and I cut out the little one section because it was very busy. So let's take a look at it and see if it covered it up. It covered it up quite well from what I can tell. I gotta clean it up a little bit. I don't know why. I might have a, might have a little bit of a mark right here, but um, it came out extremely well. I cannot tell there was ever anything on this tumbler before this. I probably won't be able to sell this anyway because the bottom with all the, the reheating got really 
messed up. Actually, this is one I wasn't going to sell anyway because there's a little nick right there. Um, so I've got myself my own tumbler. But I'm surprised. I would never be able to tell that anything was on this before. So that's certainly a win. Let's go to, this was the clear glass can that had the, um, I think it was beach, I, sweet tea. The sweet tea went from um, Melissa Miller. I love that design. I just made it too small. And so we will now take a look at it. Resubbed. And it looks fantastic. I cannot tell there was ever another image on there. Now, yeah, you can't tell at all. That came out great. This, this image originally was a one-sided image and I uh, doubled it up. I also added a little black outline so it would pop a little bit more on these clear ones. So I would consider that a win as well. And then our fancy flea, um, it just slid down. You know what, this came out, this came out perfect. And I am actually doing a show this weekend so I will give this to Lori. You cannot tell, I, <laughs> I did a pretty good job of lining that up. You cannot tell that there was anything there before that. So that's certainly a win. This is, I believe this was the golf, the reverse golf uh, images. Hopefully we'll, we won't be able to tell. And then it was using the uh, Michelle Ray design and I can't I can't see anything this one is a, certainly a win and I'm actually very happily surprised because I was a little concerned about that was this the golf I think it was the golf so that was certainly a win now this is the one that was the little fetch these dog uh, this was, um, so this one came out really good. I will tell you, there's a couple of spots on here that it shone through. If you look really carefully, I won't sell this one. Um, I'll give it to somebody and they'll never know. If you look right there is the curve of his uh, ear, I think. And then also right there is the curve of his ear. And there's a little teeny spot, I can't even find it now, that I saw a minute ago. Uh, you'd have to look really hard. Matter of fact, I, I could probably sell this. I don't know what I'll do, but it came out good. Wasn't perfect because I could see a little bit, but if you didn't know it was there, you'd never know. This was the Reefer Madness that I re, I just put the same image on top of the old image. And you know, it came out really good. Um, I can tell, there's a little bit of tape marks, so I can probably pull that out. I, knowing that I did that, I, I can probably tell. Now, remember those black dots that were in there before? They're still there. And you can kind of see them. So I don't know if that was uh, uh, the sublimation coating that had come off or, or what. It actually fits because it's a very um, vintage type, um, a vintage type image. So I, I think it's a win. It came out really good. And then we have this was the upside down coffee, I think. And this one, let's see how it came out. You know, I can't. You know, I can tell, but I don't think anybody would notice. Nobody would notice. This is, I think, a, a win as well. Again, busy images are what are really key here. And then the last one was the, this was the lemon squeeze that we, we did an overlay. There's a couple of black spots that'll come out. This one, I don't think you'd ever, ever be able to tell that it was another 
another uh, image below it. Now I was fortunate because over one half of the image had that clear back. So that's why I took this clear and put it on that uh, area and then the black covered up uh, all of the, uh, uh, the other. This came out amazing, I can't tell. I'll look in a microscope, but I don't think I'll be able to find that. Anyway, these all came out really, really, really great. I will tell you the key is a very busy, busy image or try to put the, a, a new image on top of the old, did, 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 did. try to put a new image on top of the old. I think I got a little bit on that one. Although this one's phenomenal. It looks brand new. This would have worked out great if my original image would have little, been a little bit smaller. Uh, it still came out good. But some of these are really, really impressive. Again, busy, busy images. Dark, dark colors. I was a little nervous that all the silver in here would uh, lend itself to be able to see the previous image. And you really can't. You want a busy image and you want it to be very dark, especially on the area that you're trying to cover up. So overall, I'd say a great big win. If you have any tumblers that are messed up, certainly give this a shot. Uh, I definitely put them in the oven. If you don't have an oven, you could probably go to a thrift store and get it really cheap. You should get a convection oven because it distributes the air flows in the unit and it distributes the heat, but you don't have to. I've heard of people using regular tumblers. You just have to rotate it a little bit so it doesn't get overly hot on one side. But I bet you could find a convection oven pretty cheap if you looked around. Anyway, big win for the rebaking of the messed up tumblers. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Click the little notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos are released. And certainly uh, come join our Facebook group. There will be a link in the description below. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day. Hey, puppy, 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 puppy. Hey, y'all, today we're gonna fix some cops. So stick around. I can't, I can't say that. You gonna help? Yeah. Certainly join our face group and bake these things like I'm baking, bacon, bacon food. Like I'm baking, like I'm cooking. All right, let's go to the convection oven. This is, this is for, for you. Oh. This is for you. Now open it up and take a look at it. I made it on a YouTube video and I wanted to share it with you. You're so sweet. He's so good. Look at the back. Look at that. Thank you. She rocks. I do. She does. She rocks. <laughs>